What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 23 Liverpool Carrier Mode Show episode and I'm really really excited about this episode because we start our Champions League campaign against Leipzig, we play Arsenal in the Premier League, we started the season brilliantly but then we got a massive slap across the face by Man City and we have a brilliant backup right back to Trent Alexander-Arnold, Livramento but we we need a backup left back for Andy Robertson and I don't want to sign anyone because we already signed one for exactly this scenario that I thought when Timikas stops growing this is exactly the time to recall the big Hungarian young talent Milos Kerkes who is playing regularly for Azad Alkmaar and I watched him live in the Pushkash arena and he's 77 rated oh wow that's brilliant and he has great potential as well uh, let's sh show you his development plan he already has four star weak foot can we bump that up to five star weak foot I think we will do that he has he is brilliant pace and his passing is pretty decent, he's defending and dribbling as well and remember he's only 21 years old so he's exactly the perfect player to develop behind Andy Robertson and when Robertson goes down in his rating that's when Milos Kerkes could take over from him and the comment of the day goes out to these guys that you can see below me on the screen thank you so much for your awesome support and remember to check out my FIFA 23 gameplay channel where I preview the biggest games in the biggest leagues plus the Champions League, the Europa League link is in the video's description and make sure to subscribe to that channel as well. Burnley have zero points from zero games, they are one of the weakest teams in the league but their attack is actually pretty strong but in, with this team I think we have to beat them. Adam Hunt, the grandson of Roger Hunt, our homegrown talent, starts and I thought let's give a start to Kerkes, Ugarte, Livramento, Guardiola and Darwin Nunez as well. Welcome to Anfield, the Luis Diaz Tifo is out. Let's smash Burnley and let's bounce back from that horrendous 6-0 defeat against Man City. Well, very effective play in possession. Crossing possibilities. Go on, that is a brilliant goal! Oh my goodness, we completely outpassed and outclassed the Burnley defense and Luis Diaz after scoring a hat-trick in the opening Premier League game week, he gets another one. Ah, sorry I didn't commentate over this goal too much, but I was just concentrating so much and Luis Diaz is wide open and the AI always scores these kind of uh, passing across goal type of goals. No, no. I have to stop Enesunal. Oh, Cobell. Oh, no way. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is dangerous. No, I can't get there, but Cobell can. Luis Diaz. Bellingham. Oh, what a first touch. Jude Bellingham. No. Ugarte, the new signing. But it's an awful finish. Ugarte. Look at Burnley. Look at Burnley! Oh my goodness, they are so deep, but I can't take advantage of that. Luis Diaz. See a later defender. Darwin Nunez has to be. And my own player blocks my shot! Are you kidding me? And Alex Scott has the details. No way! Oh, Cobell, what to say! Who's gonna get on the end of it? Guardiola, please! Cobell again! Daniel Braganza. No! I have to. No, I can't! I just cannot, absolutely cannot defend this Burnley team! How did they, they get past my sliding tackle with Guardiola? I mean, look, I almost timed it perfectly and instead my own defender, Gomez, falls over. I mean, what is this cheesy A? Go on, Salah. Go on. 
Jota to Darwin! Nunez! Darwin Nunez scores! And this is really important. We are leading 2-1. Still, I don't understand why Darwin doesn't have his real game face. Look at how much it means to the Liverpool fans. I can't believe we have to struggle so much to beat Burnley. But that's ultimate difficulty for you. Great finish, Darwin. You can sense the threat is there. Go on, Jota, please! Jota! 3-1! That's game over! And let's do that Neymar celebration. Diogo Jota as a substitute seals the victory. Really good team play move. This pass by Harvey Elliott to Jota is lovely and that the build-up play was good. Oh my goodness, what a pass! Trent! Oh, Burnley hit the bar. Go on, Salah. Oh, Salah is away. See you later. Oh, that is beautiful. What a skill move by Salah. And Diogo Jota makes it four. What a substitution. Darwin Nunez was playing left wing. Jota threw the middle as a striker. And he decides the game. This is how you bounce back from a big dropping uh, against Man City. We won 4-1. And all of our attacking players scored except Bellingham. And we were totally dominant. And I'm, I'm already thinking about Luis. Luis Diaz's injury. He was holding his leg, so the biggest injury he could have is three months out. And Luis Diaz already had an injury ravaged season, I think, in season two. So I don't want that to happen again because with uh, Gakpo already out, we can't have two of our main attackers uh, being out injured. This is absolutely devastating. Luis Diaz broke his toe. He will be out for three months. So in back to back games, we lost. Two of our attacking players to seven and three month injuries respectively. Just awful. But at least you can't say the carrier mode is not realistic because Liverpool are having their worst injury crisis that I can remember. Arsenal lost to Leicester. That's a big blow to them because Man City won. And Man United Tottenham played out a 2-2 draw. That's perfect. And Man United are in the bottom half of the table. You love to see it. This next game will be a proper challenge because Leipzig built an amazing team. Not only do they have Steel and Kunku, but they signed Bukayo Saka from Arsenal and Bernardo Silva from Man City. They also have Jorginho from Chelsea, Renato Sanchez, the FIFA 22 Liverpool carrier mode legend, Cucurella from Chelsea, Militao from Real Madrid, Christensen from uh, Chelsea as well as Kalulu from AC Milan. So they built an amazing team. Welcome to an Field, let's put a statement down that we are serious about winning the Champions League. If I had to choose one competition that I want to win, it's the Champions League. We already won the FA Cup, we won the Premier League three times, but the Champions League, we haven't even been to the semi finals. Declan Rice. Oh, oh, we are cooking. Has to be Jota! Brilliant! It's another! Fantastic goal! And Diogo Jota cannot stop scoring. He has been the player of the season last season. He scored like almost 40 goals. And hopefully this season he will continue doing that. Brilliant finish. And Kunku. Oh my goodness, Alisson! Oh my goodness, Trent, come on, get back! Renato Sanchez all the way and Alisson has to make a save. Jota. Oh, Nunez is cooking. Darby Nunez. Jota. Bremiro saves it. Let's go, Salah. Come on. Mo Salah. And try again. Ramiro again saves it. No, the high pressing is almost impossible to get past. And then Alisson makes the worst goalkeeping howler that I have seen for many, many games. Alisson made some howlers, but this one is right up there. I mean, it's straight down the middle. Yes, it is hit with power, but he should save that. What on earth is that goalkeeping, man? Go on, Trent. Jota, why didn't you pass it to Darwin? I pressed the pause button. Bellingham to Darwin Nunez. Oh, hang on, Stuart. Big chance here. 
Jota! No! Oh my goodness, how did the keeper save that? Go on, Harvey Elliott! Oh, Ramiro! Please, Fabio! Carvalho, another save! No! I can't, Alisson. Man, this is so frustrating because I think we outplayed and outclassed Leipzig. If it, and if it wasn't for an Alisson howler, we would have won this game. I mean, look at the chances that we had. We should have scored three goals according to the XG. The Leipzig keeper was brilliant. And they scored a goal out of absolutely nothing. It was a more of a hit and hope by Saka and it somehow went in. One of the reasons for that could be that I've been rotating the goalkeepers uh, because I want to give Kobel playing time as well so Alisson's match sharpness is not the best. Of course Atalanta have beaten Ayaka Athens so they are leading the group and we have to beat Ayaka home and away and then hopefully against Atalanta we can win as well home and away. Arsenal also got into a group of death because Real Madrid and Leverkusen are all really really strong teams. Our next game is a huge one, Arsenal at the Emirates. Uh, if we could get a big win here then we could go on a really big winning run. Van Dijk is really tired so Guardiola comes into his place and Darwin Nunez plays on the left wing in the absence of Luis Diaz who is out injured. A head-to-head -head confrontation we can, quite simply, never get enough of. Talk about high profile, this qualifies and then some. Arsenal against Liverpool. Welcome to the Emirates, Arsenal-Liverpool. Always a big game, but both teams are in the top four. And Arsenal finished in the top four last season. Bellingham. Go on, Bellingham! What to save Ramsdale! Alright Trent, let's try and cook up something with Salah. Oh, Salah goes in! Again! Yes! No, I thought he scored! <laughs> oh my goodness, I was already celebrating! Go on, Bellingham. Jude Bellingham, finally! All of our early dominance counts and Jude Bellingham, who will score a lot of goals from this attacking midfield role, gets it on the score sheet. Brilliant through ball from Salah and I just didn't want to do anything else but go through and bury it. Oh no. The Catalara is in. Can I? Oh my goodness. Alisson doesn't even try to save it. I just don't understand sometimes the goalkeepers on this game. The Catalare with this burst of pace and I mean Guardiol, I tried so hard to block the shot. And Alisson dives after the ball is in the net. Look at Alisson. Please, shut up! Another chance goes begging. Bellingham, please! Ah, oh, Ramsdale again. Jota, go on Jota! Another save. Yes. Yes, Salah! Mo! Salah! And... Oh! Yes! Konate! <laughs> what a header! It's so rare that we score a headed goal, but Konate gets his first goal. It's a lucky goal because uh, Salah's shot gets deflected up in the air, but that is a brilliant... Darwin Nunez, boom! Oh no! He hits the bar! Oh! Jota can decide the game. Do you go, Jota? Let's go. It's 3 1. That is a huge win against one of the best teams in the league, Arsenal. They oh, are Liverpool fans are loving it in the away end. Look at how open Jota is. The centre back on the other side was playing him on side, and Jota punishes that Arsenal small error with a clinical finish. They certainly haven't been two goals worse than their opponents. But in key moments, Go on, Jones. Found wanting, particularly defensively. Steps on the ball. And Hunt! Hunt turns and scores! It's four! 
Oh, and them Hunt, the grandson of Roger Hunt, the homegrown talent, once again shows me why he should play more often. And this is a brilliant, low-driven pass by Curtis Jones, and Adam Hunt keeps the ball, turns and finishes. No. Oh, come on, Alisson! No. Alisson. Go on, Carvalho. What can they do to stop him running at them? And Hunt! It's five! And then Hunt scores two goals! And in the 94th minute, we rout and thrash Arsenal in their own stadium. What a substitution! And then Hunt came on and he had two goals from two attempts. And I remember in season two, we smashed Arsenal 6 1 at home, but that was a lot weaker Arsenal. So this is a even bigger statement. And it's so weird this season. We can lose to Man City 6 nil but we can beat Arsenal 5-1 crazy crazy results and I mean look at the dominance that we had 18 shots away at Arsenal that's a really amazing amazing scoreline and in the second half we absolutely blitzed Arsenal we had nine shots on target brilliant and Adam Hunt was the man of the match as a substitute that's absolutely brilliant what a smashing huge scoreline and we keep pace with Manchester City and we smashed Arsenal's goal difference as well. I mean, Arsenal score conceded one goal in four games and then we scored five against them. Chelsea, it looks like they are back to their best. Man City and Tottenham won, but Man United struggles continue. Man United are in the bottom half of the table and Everton are in the relegation zone. Erling Haaland is absolutely amazing in this career mode, just like he is in real life. Nine goals in five matches. Phil Foden has five in five. Jota has four. Diaz has four goals but he's out for three months. But Bellingham and Nunez also three goals each. Salah has four assists. Uh, Bellingham has three. And this week will be very crowded so I have to be very very smart with my team selection. And we play against Watford in the League Cup. Liv Ramento was brought in from Watford. We exchanged Reggie Cannon quite a lot of money for Liv Ramento. So both players Cannon and Liv Ramento, to play against their former clubs. All eyes on one man up against his former club. Will he make an impact? Welcome to Vicarage Road. We haven't won the League Cup yet in this career mode. We played a final against Brighton and we lost that 4-3. And last season we went out in the semi-finals. Oh, Cobel. Cobel, Cobel. Good goal. That was really important. But Kerkes, Ugarte. Still passing it around with authority. And Curtis Jones, yes! Brilliant goal! Really good build up play and a combination between Adam Hunt and Curtis Jones. I love the League Cup because we can play the youth players and the young players and they can shine in this competition. No. No, come on! Oh, Kobel again! What a save! An effective ball. Kerkes. Go on, Kerkes. Go on a run. Oh, the back heel is lovely, and Ugarte! Ugarte scores another one! And then he does the Dybala celebration, love that. Really patient, really cool build-up play. What a back here pass by Kerkes, and Carvalho finds Ugarte, who finds the back of the net. And look at Carvalho. Oh, what a mistake by the defender, and Fabio Carvalho punishes him. The young players are really shining in this league competition. We are absolutely flying when it comes to scoring goals. We scored four against Burnley, five against Arsenal. Now we have three goals against Watford as well. Oh. Curtis Jones! Oh my goodness! No, I can't get there. Okay, Watford get to go back. This game is not over yet. In the first half, Kobo made some good saves. And that's a good turn and a good finish. No, come on, Kobo. Wow. 
inside the final 15 minutes. And I see Salah. He's in behind. Salah, what a goal on the counter attack. Mo Salah, it's four. And we know the name, son. I just saw Salah running in behind the defense, and Ugarte gets an assist. What a game he's having. And Bellingham. Darwin Nunez, it's five. Oh, the substitutions really turned on the style. And I saw Darwin Nunez on a side, and he buries it. Yes, Van Dijk. Livermento. Oh no! Making a bit of headway. It should be. Oh come on! What a goal by Watford! This is a brilliant through ball, and I just couldn't get there in time. A lovely finish, to be fair. What an entertaining League Cup tie this was! We scored five goals, and we played Watford off the park. And I mean, Watford had some chances, but we were dominant. We had 3.8 xG. We created a lot more chances, and we were clinical with our finishing. We had seven shots on target and scored five of them. And Fabio. Carvalho got the man of the match. I really want to develop Carvalho, Elliot, Curtis Jones and Hunt into world-class players. Leeds United smashed five goals past Lincoln as well. Tottenham went through. But Man City lost to Reading. That is the shock of the round. Absolutely crazy. Man United beat Portsmouth on penalties. That's unlucky for Pompey. Chelsea won and Leicester won. Arsenal went through. But Man City going out is brilliant. And we get loot on town, probably on the same level as Watford, maybe a little bit weaker. So this uh, really opens up the League Cup, especially because Tottenham will play Man United, so the draw was kind to us. I absolutely love it that Kevin Kelleher is a regular now at Brighton, so hopefully he can develop and grow into an even better goalkeeper. One day I'm dreaming about him being our second choice. Luis Diaz, even though he's injured, he's still our top scorer alongside Jota. Nunez has four, Bellingham has three, and Adam Hunt finally scored his first goals of the season. Really looking forward to the next episode. We can uh, build our on uh, this winning run that we are uh, doing, win a lot of games. We have some winnable games coming up and I'm looking forward to the Atalanta game in the Champions League as well. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this. Have a lovely day. See you later. Goodbye.